Hello everyone, in this video, we will talk about the measure of the central angle and inscribed angle. So, uh, based on the definition, the measure of a central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, what is our central angle in this figure in circle E? So, our central angle is HEP or angle HEP. And what is our inter intercepted arc? So the intercepted arc in this figure or the intercepted arc of the central angle is arc HT. Okay? So yung buka ng inyong angle which is angle HET, sakop niya si arc HT. And then the second definition, the measure of inscribed angle is equal to one half of intercepted arc. So that is the measure of inscribed angle. Since central angle is equal to intercepted arc, inscribed angle is equal to one half of intercepted arc. They have the same intercepted arc. So our inscribed angle here is angle H E H A T and the intercepted arc is arc H T. So we also have another inscribed angle that is angle HOT and also they have the same intercepted arc which is arc HT. Based on theorem, the central angle theorem states that the measure of inscribed angle is always half of the measure of the central angle. So, para malinawan kayo ng, mas, ng gusto, we have the illustration in mathematical symbols. So this one. So measure of angle HET, our central angle, that is equal to the measure of arc HT. That is the intercepted arc. So they are equal. So since the arc is 88 degrees, therefore angle HET is also equal to 88 degrees. They have the same measure. And then letter B, so we have the inscribed angle. Angle HAT and angle HOT. Okay? So measure of angle HAT is equal to one half of the intercepted arc. Our intercepted arc here is arc HT. Since the measure of arc HT is 88 degrees, therefore the measure of angle HAT is equal to 44 degrees. So how about HOT? Angle HOT, this one, this is angle HAT, and this is angle HAT. So angle HOT is also one half of the intercepted arc, which is HT. So therefore, they have the same measure, which is 44 degrees. Okay? If they have the same intercepted arc, they have the same measure or equal measure. Okay? Congruent. They are congruent. Angle HAT and angle HOT. And then, let us see the definition. Uh, inscribed angle is always half of central angle. Okay? Central angle theorem. So, HET, angle HET is equal to 88 degrees. And then, HAT is equal to 44 degrees. Okay, so one half of HET, the measure of angle HET. And then let us have another one. Okay, let us find the measure of angle MAS, number two, measure of arc AT, number three, measure of arc HS, and number four, measure of angle HAS. From the figure, we can identify the measure of angle MAS using the intercepted arc. So this is the angle MAS from M to A and then to S. So this is our angle MAS. So the intercepted arc of angle MAS is arc MS. 
Okay? That is equal to 50 degrees. So, therefore, since angle MAS is inscribed angle, and according to the definition, inscribed angle is one half of the intercepted arc. Our intercepted arc is 50 degrees. And then, of course, the measure of angle MAS is one half of 50. So, one half of 50 is equal to 25 degrees. Okay? So, one half of the intercepted arc. And the next number two, arc AT. So since we're looking for the measure of the arc, and that is the intercepted arc of angle AHT. Okay? And angle H, uh, AHT is the inscribed angle. So again, the inscribed angle is one half of the intercepted arc. So we're looking for the measure of the arc here. Therefore, that is equal to twice the measure of the, in the inscribed angle. Ang measure ng ating inscribed angle is 31 degrees. Therefore, arc AT is equal to 62 degrees. Okay? Twice of the inscribed angle. And then, we're looking for number 3, arc HS, this one. Okay, so we, we all know this is 62 degrees. Arc MA is 69 degrees. Arc TH is 88 degrees. And measure of arc MS is 50 degrees. So what is the measure of arc HS? So we all know that the sum of the measure of the central angle of a circle is equivalent to 360 degrees. Since we, we have 88, 62, 69, and 50, so what is the remaining measure of the arc? Okay, so we have to subtract all the measure of the arc here from 360 degrees. Equal to... 91 degrees. So, this is 91 degrees. Total of 360 degrees. So, now, number 4, let us find the measure of angle HAS. So, from A, from H to A to S. So, this is the angle we are looking for. So, angle HAS. So, again, the inscribed angle is angle HAS. And the intercepted arc is the opposite, which is 91 degrees. So, 91 degrees, of course, the inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. So, therefore, half of 91 degrees is 45.5 degrees. Okay, so this is 45.5. So, let us have another figure. So, as you can see, we have triangle inside of the circle. So, the given measures here are arc DA or AD, which is 146 degrees, and then angle DAY, which is 55 degrees, and then we're looking for number one, measure of angle DYA, number two, measure of arc DY, so DY, and then angle uh, number three, measure of angle YDA, this one yun, YDA, so this one. And then number four, measure of arc AY, this one. So based on the figure, since we are uh, looking for the measure of the angle and the arc, uh, let us use the given measure, 146 degrees and 55 degrees. So arc DA is 146 degrees. For number 1, DYA. DYA is the inscribed angle. And the intercepted arc is arc DA, which is 146 degrees. So, inscribed angle is one half of the arc, and that is 146 degrees. One half of 146 is equal to 73 degrees. Okay? So, this is 73 degrees. For item number 2, that is arc dy. So, arc dy is this one. 
arc dy and that is the intercepted arc of angle day the given degrees which is 55 degrees okay inscribed angle is day the intercepted arc is dy and that is twice the measure of the inscribed angle so twice of 55 degrees that is equal to 110 degrees okay so arc dy is 110 degrees and then now we can find the measure of angle yda this one since 180 minus 55 minus 73 and that is equal to 52 degrees so this one is 52 degrees so angle yda 52 degrees and then last one we are looking for arc ay arc ay is the intercepted arc of angle yda this one 52 degrees and then again angle is one half of the arc so twice of the angle is equal to the measure of the arc twice of 52 that is equal to 104 degrees 104 degrees so this is 104 degrees if you are going to add 104 110 and 146 that is equal to 360 degrees so what if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle on um, the previous example a triangle is inscribed in a circle and this time a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle so based on the definition or theorem if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle then its opposite angles are supplementary okay when we say opposite yung magkatapat na angle so let's uh, let us have the given measure of the angles so we have angle e which is 48 angle a which is 131 okay so the opposite angle of angle a or angle eat where we are using uh, the sides of the angle so instead of only angle a we use angle eat the opposite of angle eat is angle b or angle ebt so that is item number one find the measure of angle ebt since angle eat and angle ebt are opposite angles so they are supplementary when we say supplementary the measure of two angles the sum of the measure of two angles is equal to 180 degrees okay when we add those two angles that is equivalent to 180 since we have 131 what is the uh, measure of the other angle to make it 180 so 180 minus 131 that is equal to 49 degrees so this is 49 degrees okay next arc eat this one from e to a to t so we're looking for the intercepted arc of angle B. Intercepted arc. Since 49 degrees ang ating inscribed angle, therefore we have to multiply it by 2. Multiply uh, or twice of the inscribed angle is the measure of the, the arc. So 49 times 2, that is equal to 98 degrees. So this one is 98 degrees. Okay, for number 1, 49. For number 2, 98 degrees. Okay, next, number 3. Find the measure of angle BTA. So, this one. That is opposite of angle AEB. Okay, or BEA. So, that is 48 degrees. Opposite of 48 degrees is angle T. And they are supplementary. Since they are supplementary, we have to subtract 48 degrees from 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 48, that is equal to 132 degrees. Okay? 132 plus 48 is 180. 
So this is 132 degrees. And then next, find the measure of arc BEA. So B, E, A. From B to E to A. Okay? Since that is the intercepted arc of angle T or angle BTA, that is twice of that angle. So times 2 mo lang si 132 degrees. So that is equal to 264 degrees. Okay? So... I hope you learn from this video and if you learn please subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa bagong video.